Here's a really good quadratic question. The xy plane above shows two x-intercepts, which are these right here, 2, 0, and 8, 0. A y-intercept, which has a fraction in it, and a vertex of the parabola, h and k. Which of the following must be the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola? So these are all your vertex. That's why they all say v. And if you look at your answer choices, they all have the number 5 in there to represent the x-coordinate of your vertex. And how'd they get that? Super easy. They just found the midpoint of 2 and 8, since the vertex is in the middle of those two. So you can run the midpoint formula. 2 plus 8, divide that by 2 to equal 5. That is how they got h. Now all we have to do is find k, and we got this question answered. If this says vertex, then we probably need the vertex equation, which is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. You're gonna have to remember that one. Just start with one point. Let's pick x and y right here. We're gonna start with that one, and we're gonna plug in the values that we know into the vertex equation right here. That gets us zero equals a. We don't have an a value. Our x is gonna be two minus five squared plus k, and I'm gonna highlight where the numbers came from. So my x and y was two and zero, and remember we found our h value up here which was 5. Go ahead and simplify that and you get 0 equals a. 2 minus 5 is negative 3 squared plus k, which then simplifies to 9a plus k because negative 3 squared is 9. Notice that there are two variables missing in here, which kind of hints you that you will need two equations. We need to set up a system of equations in order to solve for these two variables. And the part that kind of stinks is that we cannot use 8 and 0 because you're going to end up getting the same thing as 9a plus k. And I'll tell you why really quick. Because if you do 8 minus 5 squared into this part of the vertex form, you're going to end up getting 9a. So that's going to be useless. We got to do the fraction one. We can't avoid it. So you're going to run the same step once again. That's going to be your x and y. And plug it in the same exact way as we did with this work in red going to get me 16 over 3 equals a in parentheses my x value now is 0 minus 5 squared plus k that's going to simplify to 16 over 3 equals 25a plus k because negative 5 squared is 25 and the very last step we can set up a system of equations to solve for a and k which isn't too bad because you can kind of see that the k's will cancel out by multiplying all of this by negative 1 your k's cancel out here, negative 16 over 3 equals negative 16a, and just multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 1 over negative 16, those cancel out, and so do these, to get 1 third equals a. We are almost done, I promise you. Now all we have to do is plug this in into one of these two equations to get k. I'm going to avoid the fraction one, so that's going to be 0 equals 9 times 1 third, because that's my a value and solve for k. 3 plus k equals 0, k equals negative 3, which means that my answer choice is a. If you got a faster way, let me know. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.